and they do command a pretty penny so that's why I grabbed it up and guess how much I paid for it 50 cents <laughs> It's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and I'm in Cincinnati today, and I am at the Ohio Valley Antique Mall. It's huge. Join me. Nice piece of pyrography. Oops. I really like this booth. Look at how cute it is. Look at the babies. Babies. Look, they have teeth. Teeth. This one has teeth, too. They're adorable. I found some stuff that I absolutely love. Look at all these new old stock cowboy candles from Girlie in the Box. They're $25 each. They are 25% off. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. They're 25% off. I don't know. Those are amazing. Can you imagine finding this whole package like that new in the box store display? <gasps> I can't even imagine. That's cool. Oh, I'm tempted. Of course, I was really excited about these, but they're $18.95, no sale. I can't do anything with that, so they're gonna stay there. I see some cute little things here. I don't know if you can see that. Look. Little baby squeakers. They're both. This one's ten. This is chalkware. No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's plastic. It's a bank. It's missing. It's little. Um, or not a bank. Huh. It's not a bank. It's also ten. That's cute. And then look at her. She's a squeaky. She doesn't squeak a whole lot. She's sixteen. Look at this guy. He's only four. He's got a lot of damage. Adorable little bear. So cute. Oh, I like books. The hound dog. There's five of them there. $6.50. I don't like that I can't look at them. There's four of these. I see two of them. This one's spine is a little messed up. The rest look like they might be okay for five. And then, what else do we have back here? Jack and the Beanstalk. Some pretty, pretty fun books. Little Cottontail, Egg Book, Funny Bunny. Or there's the barcode on that one. Nineteen sixty two is probably printed in the seventies, so if it has a barcode. Same thing with Funny Bunny. Copyright 1950. Revised in 1978. Hmm. There's some cute things in this display case. Look at her. Isn't she neat? I like that one. That little girl with the watering can. She's 75. She's Napco. At least that's what they say. She's also Napco. She looks Napco. I don't see the price on her. Those are sweet. There's a lot of blue molds here. I collect the tabletop Santas. Um, not the snowman, but they're fun to see. Snowmen. $469 for that set. With the, um, all of those things for the manger scene. 
That is a very, very large Santa. 1950, 50 Sterling product Santa Claus. It's like four feet tall, $250. Look at it against the span of my hand. <laughs> cool. Oh, those are adorable. Those are, according to them, Commodore, boy and girl, um, reindeer, salt and pepper, as is. I don't know what the as is part is. $25. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. I've sold this one before. They have 27 on it. I have two right now in blue. Tin. Those are cool. Lots of great salt and pepper shakers here. Look at these little fishy. Aren't they adorable? Twelve dollars. Little mouse and cheese are cute. $19.99. I like these little Asian guys. I've never seen those before. I think they're 12. There's a lot of cute things here. I think these are all contemporary. But it doesn't make them any less cute. Look at that guy. It's like a pumpkin snowman. And these little guys. Isn't that cute? That's $19.99. I think they're pretty much all... $19.99. Look at this tin. It's got football players and sledders. $69. That's really cute. I like that black tin too. <clears throat> they have a plaid lunchbox. They want 40 for theirs. $9.99. Those are cute. We got some fun angels. Those are six. one from my family's estate but those are amazing I kind of like those owls ten dollars they're very bright and shiny jewelry casket Ooh. Oh, I thought for a minute it still had a liner. It does not. That's really pretty. Twenty dollars. Yeah, I'll pay twenty bucks for it too. I don't know what it says. There's nobody else here. All the value. No. Don't know what it says. Probably Japan. Gorgeous. I found some babies. Look at these guys. Aren't they cute? What does it say? Eight dollars? Oh, cute. Why well, I really came over here though was because of her. She's eighteen dollars. Now she's Valentine's. I couldn't find any comps on her. So I don't know if she's worth that or not. I need to be able to make at least ten. I like to double my money, but I gotta get at least ten and I'm not sure I can do it. Um this one's pretty much spot on. But I don't know about her. Hmm. I spy some mercury glass beads. They're 11 a piece. This one's in a little better condition than the one on the bottom. $10. 
pink one's nice. It's kind of like almost a combination of pink and red. And that's plastic. I can tell from here. I was being quite selective today, so I only picked up a few items, but I think I got some really good things. Uh, I picked up a couple of Easter books. This one is Funny Bunny, and I believe this one was from 1975. This one is The Egg Book. And this one is from 1978. Hey, if you like this sort of content, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Anything will do. I got all of these books for $5. And you saw in the video that they were all wrapped up and tied with a string. But I pulled them out and I think they're kind of cute. So I've got this one. It's a Whitman Tell-A-Tale book. Why Do You Love Me? This one is Beanie and his magic set. This is from 1953. It's also Whitman. Love it. Another Whitman book. This one's from 1961. The best surprise of all. This one's another Whitman book. And this one is The Great Fort. This one I believe was from 1970 or 71. So those were fun. I always like to pick up books. I have a hard time staying away from them. I did pick up the Mercury beads from that one booth. Um, I usually like to have my price per uh, bead strand be $10 or less. These were 11 but uh, I still will make money on them. The next item that I picked up is actually quite controversial. As a matter of fact, Disney doesn't even recognize that they ever did it. I'm talking about the Song of the South. And um, it is definitely not PC by today's standards at all. It is very scarce and it has a lot of value. So when I found this Uncle Remus book, even with its as is sticker on it, and I'll show you the damage on it, um, I grabbed it. And I'm going to probably hang on to it for a little while, but uh, I am betting that that still has some value even with the damage um, and the damage is that on the last page the child drew on it there's a tear on that last page you can see it there and then the child colored all over this page um, but that's I think that's it as far as just glancing through that was the only damage that I found on it So again, these are very scarce You won't find them very often and they do command a pretty penny So that's why I grabbed it up and guess how much I paid for it 50 cents I also picked up a couple of little Valentines. These were uh, really I, I love the Valentines and I do pick them up anytime that I can find them um, at a you know reasonable price for me as a reseller. These were uh, only a quarter a piece So I grabbed them. I showed you these when I found them in the antique store um, This set of vintage soaps. They're made in Japan They are stamped on the back and I inherited one of the Santas uh, from my family's estate I didn't even know that they had the other ones and my Santa is actually a little bit more worn than these. I was really happy to pick these up and these are staying in my collection. The most expensive item that I picked up there was this beautiful Art Nouveau jewelry casket. It is marked B&W on the bottom. It does not have a liner in it but guys this is a really a substantial substantial piece um, it is absolutely stunning and I paid twenty dollars for it and I was really happy to get it I have live sales on my channel every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern and you can often find things that I pick up on these shop alongs at those sales you can also shop my video hauls if you're interested by sending me an email at Mimi's treasure cottage at gmail.com to see if something that you're interested in is, an, is available Unless you've heard me say that it's going to a specific sale or it's going into my collection. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.